welcome back to All Things Nail. And let's get into Season uh, 1, Episode 1 of Wags Atlanta. So, did any of y'all watch this show? If you did, please tell me below what you thought about the show. So, the show started off, you know, the first episode of a new show tends to get a little slow. But I wanted to watch it all the way through, reason being, because by Episode 4... Three to four, it starts really getting good. And two, sometimes they give you some important little details that's going to play out through the show. So I went on and got into it and tried to watch it. First of all, we start out with poor Kaylin. Um, what's her last name? Jer Jergens. Her husband is Jer uh, Jergens. I think he's the professional baseball player. He, um, they done asked this poor pageant lady her age so many times. She can't remember what she done lied and told him. And she done lied so many times. She don't even know her, her real age at this point. But I think she's really pretty. She does look like a pageant queen. But anyway. So we have, um, Keisha and CJ. Which CJ is a pro football player. And... Keisha has worn, wore this man out so much. She one of them. Let me tell you. I don't want to be on TV begging for no ring. Y'all need to start giving all the milk before y'all, you know, without the cow. Because y'all sitting here being wifey, playing wifey, giving, giving all these benefits. Now y'all want a ring. Honey, you supposed to get the ring before you give all the benefits out, okay? At, you got to know what you're doing when you do it, okay? Anyway, that's just like me and my husband. We had kids. We had whatnot. But there's certain things that I didn't do for him because I wasn't his wife. I'm not going to be washing your clothes, keeping house, doing this, that, and the other if I'm not wife yet. But once I became wife, you got to get that ring. Don't matter if the kids come first or what come first. Anyway... Um, Keisha just basically trying to manhandle him into marriage <laughs> and see they done had issues with him trying to low key uh talk to some Instagram thoughts so now she insecure but yet she's still trying to secure this ring I just feel like he don't want to get married I feel like he love it and care about it I feel like he don't he ain't ready to get married yet that's why he ain't married her so he can still dip and dabble around and all these lady puns anyway Another that wants to get married is Telly. <laughs> but her 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 boo thing, um Deontay Cha. Did y'all see how he was humping on her on that floor on that mat up in <laughs> up in that boxing ring? Mm-hmm. Girl, we saw he done tried to tell a little bit of your business how he be putting it down on you, girl. You don't want the whole world to be knowing that. That's that's when all the women gonna be coming out trying to get them a little taste of that. But I like how De De Deontay is so attentive to Telly. Like he be on her he listens to her, he hears her, he receives her, and I think they will make they make such a cute couple. And um he don't let it be known. He he trying to get these these three babies. Girl, what you waiting on? I'd already been done gave him the three babies. I don't have to wait for no ring to get them three babies, child. The ring will come when it's due. Now day and time it don't go in order like it's supposed to. It'd be out of order, but you'll get your ring, child. Y'all need to stop tripping. Uh, um they both need to just shut up. If they be quiet about the whole marriage thing, I think they'll get their ring, especially Telly. Now, I don't know about Keisha because he's sick of Keisha. He love her. He care about it, but her mouth is too much. So, anyway, Keisha uh sitting over there setting up spy cams so she can spy on the man. She didn't even have sense enough to turn off the sense on her phone. So her phone just keeps saying motion detected. Motion detected. Because she didn't have sense enough to silence the notification about it. Now he's sniffing there walking around the house with her phone going off while she over there in the kitchen. Now he want to know <laughs> what you mean motion detected. What's going on up in this house? She's so lame. See, 
Telly tried to tell her this wasn't no good idea. She should have listened because now he got so pissed off. He broke up with her. He said they need a break. He said he giving her a long break. Honey, it don't look good for her. She better hope that he need her for something because if not, <laughs> she out the door. But anyway, moving on. If she need to do all of that, then she don't need him anyway. It's no reason why you if you need to install candles and cameras and security, and you that insecure in the relationship, you need to leave him alone to put him out of his misery anyway. Because he mis miserable. She going to be miserable because she always worried about if he messing around. She carrying on like he got caught at the house with the girl. She, you, if you just found some Instagram boxes, unless it's something in the Instagram you didn't tell us, like they went and met, they was meeting up or what have you or whatnot. You need to chill out if he didn't apologize and try to move on from it. And then two, you never let the left hand know what the right hand doing. You uh need to be quiet and you to find your proof. You sit back and shut up. Stop talking about marriage. Stop talking about this, that, and the other. Just be quiet. And sit back, listen, and watch. That's how you catch them if they doing something. You don't keep running around here smacking and trapping your mouth and doing no silly mess like what you're doing now. If he was to do something, you wouldn't never catch him because now he knows what you're capable of. He ain't going to trust nothing at the house. So you done mess it up for what he really, he really trying to do something. Then you tried to bring drag telly in on it. Telly kept telling you out the gate, no, this is not no we, this you. She wasn't finna use De lose Deontay over you being uh, foolish and mess up her, her good thing she got going. Uh, <laughs> you trying to ruin her relationship. That way when you get caught, you don't be single by yourself. Oh, no, I'm with Telly. No, no, let's get this French together. There's no we. This this only you. So, anyway, uh. All the men sit down and talk or whatever. And CJ keeps saying he care about the girl. Um, Like I said, if she shut up, she might get a ring. But he said he care about it, but the girl, hell. <laughs> so that lets you know right there. But um, Dion, <laughs> the other day asked him to explain the situation about the Instagram situation with the hug or whatever. That's what happened. It was a hug. Deontay said he needed to know how you hugged it because it's rules to hugging. And CJ was like, it wasn't even a two second hug. JJ, like, it was, we, we imagine it's supposed to be a time on there. At least I think that was JJ, you know, this is a new cast. I don't know everybody yet. But anyway, so Kaylin is all distraught because um, JJ was suspended for 80 games for uh, having testosterone. Okay. 80 games is like, what, four seasons or four years? Because that's what I'm seeing it as in my head. Like, four to five years, 80 games is a lot. That's a long time. That's your whole career pretty much being gone. So, I hope he got some kind of doctor's excuse for what she said. Because Kaylin saying that the doctor gave him some supplements and stuff to help get over some grief and depression and what have you. And it showed up as testosterone. Look, I'm a coach. I coach athletes, right? They give you a, they tell you a list of medicine that you can't take to enhance performance. If you take any of these medicines, it's considered considered a performance enhancer. We, I'm just a USA swim coach. I teach swimming. I'm on a low level, and even I know our athletes can't have anything like that because and there's normally a list of a name of drugs you cannot take. Why his doctor didn't know the list of the name of drugs that he couldn't take? Was this a new drug that just came out that ain't on the list yet? Um, these are new supplements that just came out that that that's not on the list. You got to give me some tea. You got to tell and explain to me, cause honey, you can't just tell me anything. Cause see, I know the story, honey. But moving on. Um, but I am glad that. Kaylin, she went on to the party. She put a big, big girl panties on, went on to the party, tried to just make the best of it. And I like how she answers people questions. It's like, are you all right? She's like, no. And well, she didn't say it like that, but she's just like, no, I'm not all right. Okay, y'all knew when she came here, this was going to be an issue. Shut the fuck up about it. Let this lady enjoy her party. 
Y'all go on about y'all business. Y'all discuss that tomorrow when y'all get up in the morning, have her over for some eggs and some tea or something like that. Just not at, don't try to ruin this tear down in front of everybody at this whole party. Then let's get on to this party. Hope came to Kiara party that she was throwing for Kaylin. Like she was the entertainment, like she was the stripper for the party. That's why she don't have no man because she walking around looking like a cheap slut. She she looked like a hot cheap standing on the corner, half sex in the back seat in the pissy alleyway, hot mess. That's what she looked like. And she purposely came and she purposely wanted to be seen like they tell me, girl, y'all men ain't looking for me. Then she was purple purposely walking with that bounce. Trying to make a booze bounce. That's how she was walking. I personally would have said I'm sorry, Hope. It's not that kind of party. And for this event, that's not appropriate. And she did with sit right on back out there to valet. Went right on about her business. And and Kiara gonna lie to the girl. And when when Hope said, You don't like my outfit, and, and <laughs> Kiara's gonna be like, Yeah, girl, stop lying to her. You should have said, No, nah, that's cheap and slutty. Cause old girl came right behind you. It was like, what everybody's like, what you got on? Just tasteless and trashy. Um, and sincerely, they didn't really say much about her. Um, they, she had, she said five words and that was like, um, uh, Kaylin probably was sick because her husband playing so far away and they dropped the bum on her and her husband got suspended. So we don't know much about her yet. We'll see if things get on with her later, but anyway. Let's see who else did we have. This show, like I said, new show. The first episode is always hard to do a review on because you really ain't got down to the nitty uh, gritty yet. Let's see. Then this game. Hope wanted to do, play this game where you had flavored condoms and you took your mouth and put them on a cucumber. What kind of party is this? When you set this game up, you should have said it's not that kind of party. Who? Why are y'all scared to say no to Hope? Who is she that y'all can't say no to her? Because this was just so, so inappropriate on so many levels. Y'all up in here trying to be classy and she trying to be trashy. That's some stuff you do at a bachelorette party or something. That This was no no bachelorette party. This was, you know, supposed to be a for something else. But anyway, CJ and Keisha double dated with Telly and... Uh, Deontay, this before he found the cameras and broke up with her. They are really some cute couples. The date be going good, and Keisha had to throw out there some stuff about getting the ring, and then she got Keisha started. This is why y'all ain't going to get no ring. You got to shut up about it. You just keep going on. You not So gonna... anyway, that's really all that happened on this show. Like I said, it's the first show, Wags Atlanta. Y'all tune in and watch it if you're not watching it. Um, and it Let's see who is it. It's Brandy, Sincerely, Telly, A April, no, Ariel, Nashe, um, Keisha Hope, and Kaylin. Those are all the ladies on the show. So y'all watch the show. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow my check it, second channel, All Things Nail 2, All Things Nail, and that's T-O-O, because I'm going to be moving all of my reviews over there momentarily. I thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.